Hey Pixies! Welcome back to another Miniverse video! Today we're going to be making mini food once again from the Easter Collection Series 1. In a previous video, we've already done the ham, Easter basket, and cupcakes. And today we're finally going to be opening the Wonka Bar, which is the rare hard to get item that you can find in the ham balls. So let's start by opening this up. Okay, wow, we've got a golden ball and I'm really excited because this is actually the first rare that I've opened. And I can see the Wonka packaging as well. All right, so I've seen that there's only like 20,000 of these available, so they are super hard to get and you can only find them in the ham packaging. So I kind of shook them until I found one. We didn't have many to pick from, so I'm actually surprised I was able to get my hands on it. Oh my gosh. There it is, the Wonka packaging. And the golden bottom. All right, let's pop this open. And this thing is stuffed. Like there are so many, I'm gonna save this. I'm actually gonna save all of my rare ones for sure. Like this is golden, I gotta keep it. And it also has the matching table with the gold bottom. Now that one looks fancy. Okay. I bet you the tweezers are gonna be gold also, but okay, let's check out the packaging. It's all marked with the Willy Wonka. Chocolate everywhere. Okay, and oh, this one looks crazy. Okay, love that. So we have our Wonka bar recipe kit. So this shows everything included. And then on the back, it's going to tell us how to make it, but I'm gonna actually do a bit of a remix with this one. I'm gonna do the way we're supposed to, but I'm also gonna make a little extra and do a remix at the end. So, all right, I'm gonna start with the Oompa Loompa Land bag. So this looks like packaging. Okay, so we have packing stuff for the Willy Wonka Chocolate Factory. What's this one? Fizzy, fizzy drink. Oh, this is adorable. Okay, this feels really full. Oh, I bet you, okay, we've got chocolate. And it also comes with two nozzles, so we have a ton of supplies to work with, I think. Okay, so we have the Willy Wonka branded chocolate sauce with the nozzles. And I'm glad we got two bottles because we need to make a lot of chocolate bars with this. So let's set that aside. And let's get our utensils. I don't know what we're going to get for utensils, but look at this packaging. <gasps> Adorable. Okay, so we are probably going to be getting gold tweezers. Yep. Okay, I'm keeping those. I don't even want to use them. <laughs> All right, and we have, okay, I kind of wish this was like Wonka themed, but we do have our bunny topper, which matches with the rest of our Easter collection. Now let's open, oh gosh, okay, we're, let's do this one. This one has Wonka, and it feels pretty flat in here, so this is probably gonna be the, let's see, I'm thinking more packaging, yep, okay. So we have, oh no, <gasps> wait, what's this? Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, so it's the golden ticket. I actually forget about this. And it's sealed in an envelope from Willy Wonka himself. So let's check this out. Oh, wow. Right, I forgot about this. Okay. So we actually have our golden ticket that we won. That's beautiful. I kind of don't even want to add this <laughs> into the recipe, but definitely going to have to. So I'm just gonna put this back. I'm gonna set it aside until I figure out what I wanna do with that. Next, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. I love that every piece of the packaging is branded. And it's all like candy and chocolate. So yummy. Okay, so this looks like the cardboard box. Okay, so we have the Wonka Bar packaging box, which we're also going to have to assemble. And the chocolate bar labels the foil, and this looks like a packing tape for the top of the box. So once we make the chocolate bars, we're actually gonna need to assemble them. One last bag, wow, <laughs> there was a ton of stuff in here. Okay, let's get this opened. Oh, right, yes, okay, so we have our silicone mold for our chocolate bars, definitely need this. 
and we can make two at a time. All right, so let's get started. First, let's go ahead and take our Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory chocolate syrup. It actually looks like chocolate, but yeah, don't eat it. It's resin, but okay. So I've got my little squeezy end on. So we're gonna take our chocolate bar mold and just squeeze this chocolate in. And it actually comes out pretty good and they're pretty full containers. So let's do the second one. I love that we can make two at a time because we're gonna need to make six and we're gonna need to harden in between each two. All right, so we just did our first two chocolate bars and they're hardened. Make sure to harden them on the bottom with your LED light so that they do harden completely on the bottom. All right, so there's the first two complete. Check out the W details on every individual piece of chocolate. All right, now let's do our next two chocolate bars. Okay, so we've been able to so far get four chocolate bars out of this one bottle. So these have been cured once again under the light, so let's just pop these out. Super easy, I'm not having any issues with these molds. Just make sure that you are turning them over, like I said, so that they harden on the bottom also. And they're clear, so it's easy. Now moving on to our last two chocolate bars. I managed to get almost through the fifth bar and I ran out of chocolate sauce. So I think we did pretty good, but we're gonna need to open that second bottle. Let's put on the nozzle and continue for the last two chocolate bars. Okay, so while those last two are under the light, let's start on the Wonka bar box. So this is how they're going to arrive to us in the mail, specifically from Wonka's Chocolate Factory. So I'm just gonna place the sides. I'm gonna squeeze them down just so we have like a perforated edge a little bit and it closes a little easier. So let's do the two pieces here on the end also. It's been a while since I put a box together. Hopefully I can figure this one out. Okay, so these look to be perfect. I love the factory stamp on the bottom. But yeah, okay, let's put in those two sides. And then we're just going to fold these over and tuck in like this. Easy. We're not going to need that packing tape, I don't think. I don't want to cover that. Okay, so I'm just gonna pull the top out because I wanna be able to see inside of that box. And on the outside of it, we have the Wonka bar and the Wonka bar image on the outside of it with a factory stamp. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Next, let's pull out that packing tape, but we're not gonna need it, so I'm just gonna set that aside. And let's get ready for the chocolate bars. So I'm just gonna open this up. I need to be really careful. I don't wanna cut anything. Okay, so luckily they're not bent. So we get a bunch of the tin foil and we get a bunch of the Wonka bar packaging. Oh, what's this? Oh, clear seals. Okay, so this is probably gonna be how we close up the bar packaging. And we have the chocolate bar Wonka bars, six of them. Perfect, because we're making six chocolate bars. And our last two have cured, so let's pop these out of the mold. Easy peasy. So now we have all six chocolate bars that we need to make our first item. So here's all six. I love that W. Okay, so I'm gonna take the first chocolate bar and one piece of aluminum foil. And these are really gonna look realistic, like a real chocolate bar, I love that. So let's fold this over. I'm not sure how much is gonna show once we get the paper packaging on, but... Okay, so I'm just gonna squeeze the ends down and fold them over. Cute. Now let's take our Wonka bar packaging. 
And I'm just gonna line this up on the top and fold this down. I'm trying to make sure that it doesn't move. Okay, I love this. <laughs> That is so cute. All right, I wasn't sure how much of the ends were going to show, so it doesn't need to be perfect for the foil. So now let's take those clear little round circles and tape down the chocolate bar package like this. Okay, and we're gonna need to do five more of these. Wow. <laughs> okay, but that is so cute. That really looks like a Wonka bar. All right, let's fold up that second one. Now that we know we only see the edges, I don't feel so pressured to get it perfect. <laughs> so I'm just pushing them down and squeezing the edges like that and then pushing it down. Wrapping the chocolate bar wrapper. And this one almost looks perfect. Okay, practice makes better with these for sure. So let's place down our seal. Done. I should have had chocolate nails for this. All right, now we have the third bar to package up. So this part's a bit repetitive because they all just kind of look the same. And the fourth one. All right, before we start packaging the fifth one, we're gonna grab our golden ticket. I don't know how this is gonna work, but we're gonna take that fifth chocolate bar and the foil, and let's stick the golden ticket under the foil, because we wanna make it look like we opened our chocolate bar and found the golden ticket. Oh gosh, okay, so we wanna make this also look like we've unwrapped it. Oh no, <laughs> oh no, this is getting really wrinkly. Hopefully we don't see too much of that. More of the labels, so I'm just gonna finish these two off. These are the regular ones, they're the easy ones. I'm kind of like mentally preparing <laughs> for that golden ticket one. Okay, and the fourth bar. So we have four regular Wonka bars. And sealed. It does get easier the more I do and cute okay love 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 this love how it turned out okay let's get back to this one their golden ticket okay so let's make sure that the chocolate bar label i'm just gonna fold these down so it makes it working with it a little bit easier so i'm just going to fold these a little bit i'm just gonna fold this side down a bit like this okay so let's poke a little area here because this is going to be like we've ripped it open we want that golden ticket i don't know how i'm going to do the front yet okay oh you can kind of see the wrinkle foil it's fine so let's fold this over i'm definitely going to need to fix the front label but let's seal this up first. Let's grab our little round seal and done. Okay. Yeah, I don't really like that folded down. It's too perfect looking. Oh, what do we, oh, I don't wanna rip it, but I think I'm going to have to. Okay, so I'm just gonna use my tweezers and rip that off. Okay, that was a good idea. <laughs> okay, I like this. Time to put it all together. So let's grab our Wonka Bar box and let's grab our packaging. So let's get this open. This is actually the same packaging that we had for the Easter basket. That was green, this is purple, but it's the exact same, just a different color. So I'm just gonna floof it up a bit and put it in the box and squishy it down. Okay, oh, the star of the show, our golden ticket and our second bar. <gasps> and let's put the third one this way. 
Okay, so there's three in the box and we have two extra. So there is how we've made our first batch of our Wonka bars in the packaging. But you guys might be like, wait, there's an extra chocolate bar. Yes, there is because we are also making a remix. So we're pulling out our party cake. I've been waiting to use this two-tiered chocolate cake. So this is perfect. Now let's move on to the remix. First, let's grab the chocolate bar mold. And I'm only gonna be making a portion of this chocolate bar and making sure it gets all the way to the bottom because I wanna see those W's. I'm also gonna grab a Valentine's mold that I have for the chocolates and we're gonna make a couple of chocolates that we're gonna need on the cake. Okay, so now let's pull out that chocolate party cake, which is a two-tier cake. This is gonna be perfect. It even has a nice spongy texture on it. We're also gonna need something for the cake to sit on, so we're using this. And I wanna make sure the cake stays on, so I'm grabbing some super glue and making sure that this stays on the tray. Oh yeah, this will not move. <laughs> okay, so these are now cured, so let's grab these chocolate pieces. The chocolate bonbons are finished also, so let's pop these ones out of the mold. We have a heart and a couple of the regular bonbons. Cute, oh gosh. Okay, so now I'm gonna grab a piece of plastic because we're gonna need something that the chocolate bar is gonna be sitting on so I'm gonna take some of that chocolate resin and make a line I'm gonna push the plastic down and grab some chocolate sauce oh yeah this is from the chocolate covered strawberries so let's grab the spatula while we're curing that little chocolate piece and we're gonna add some of this chocolate sauce which is super thick and perfect so we're gonna add all on the top Look at how gloopy this is. I don't know if I've had this for a while and it's getting old or if it's just super gloopy, but I actually kind of love this for icing a cake. So I'm just going to do, we're probably gonna need to do more than one layer on this, but I'm just gonna go around the top and make sure there's as much of like an even layer as I can get. And I'm also gonna need to add some icing here. So I'm just gonna add this on the first tier of the cake. I don't really want it to go down the sides yet. So I'm just gonna use the spatula and kind of like spread it. I'll add some drips after. And I wanna make sure to get the back also. And just trying to make it even. Okay, now let's cure it. So it's now cured and ready to decorate. So this has also been under the light and it's ready to peel off. Perfect. So I'm just gonna take more of that chocolate icing and put a little layer on the top. And then let's grab this little chocolate drizzle. Okay, I'm just noticing the colors are different. <laughs> That's fine, it'll blend together. So now let's cure this so it sticks on the top and doesn't move. And I'm gonna take that chocolate bar that we made earlier and I'm gonna cut out one piece of chocolate. That was not easy. Okay, so now let's grab the chocolate bar. So I want this to look like it's been unwrapped. So I'm just gonna start by wrapping this as we usually would for the other ones. And instead of folding the top over, I'm gonna make a rip in this like we've actually opened it to eat it, like this. I'm just gonna peel the foil back. And I do actually want this to look a little messy. And I wanna see a bunch of those Wonka chocolates. Okay, I like that. Okay, so like two layers of the chocolate bar. Now I need to figure out, okay, I want I definitely want the label on. This is also gonna have to look like it's been like ripped open. So I'm just gonna rip a piece here. And then I'm gonna rip a piece on this side also. And I'm just gonna, let's go 
grab the chocolate bar and try to work this over it. Okay, we're gonna need to tuck this kind of like, oh gosh. Okay, how am I gonna do this? All right, let's try to wrap this side around. Okay, and let's tuck this under and wrap that around. Okay, it's coming together. <laughs> I was a little worried for a second, okay. Perfect, all right, now we're gonna need to seal this with one of our dots. All right, and done. Okay, I don't like that hanging on the side, so I'm just gonna rip that off. And I think I'm gonna keep that one. Now we're just gonna take more of the chocolate frosting and I'm gonna put a little bit on top like this. And I'm going to need to put a little bit of that chocolate on the chocolate bar like it's kind of melted a little bit. Now extra carefully, I'm gonna try to balance the chocolate bar and cured so now it's not gonna move and we can finish decorating. Oh, I'm excited. What do you guys think so far? Okay, so I'm gonna take more of the chocolate icing spread and I'm just gonna move this all down like the melted chocolate. Okay, I love this. And it's also kind of helping those two chocolates that we have blend. And then we're gonna grab one of our pieces of chocolate, one of the bonbons, and more chocolate. Oh yeah, this is looking gooey. And let's add in another one of those chocolate bonbons on the side. I think Wonka would be proud. <laughs> I think it's cute. And let's add in another piece of our chocolate bar. I, yeah, I like that. So I'm gonna go in and drizzle more of the chocolate because I want this to start dripping down the sides. And I did pull out some sprinkles, but I kind of am going more for the chocolate vibe. I don't think I'm gonna do sprinkles for this. We're straight on that chocolate Wonka bar. So let's add on, we've got the heart bonbon, and we have our last regular one. Okay, that is adorable. Now let's take our icing and I'm just gonna kind of, I want it to be like just dripping with chocolate everywhere like it's a melting chocolate mess of beauty. <laughs> so a little more on the top and this is really blending that chocolate bar color with the icing color. just gonna put it over on the side and down the cake so I'm gonna need to like cure this in batches all right and there is our remix Wonka chocolate bar two-tiered cake which is probably gonna be my favorite remix that I've done so yeah I don't know I love how these turned out let me know what you guys think if you have been able to get your hands on the Wonka limited edition from the Spring Collection Series 1 Miniverse. What would you guys like to see me create next? Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time.